VacuWorks CM3 Operation Guide. Connect the skid steer or track loader to the mounting assembly, making sure the lock levers are fully engaged. Connect the three hydraulic hoses to the skid steer using the supplied quick connects. Position the hydraulic hoses using the attached magnets so they do not interfere with the operation of the skid steer. Route the vacuum control hoses up to the cab of the host machine. Use the attached magnets to secure hoses. Connect hoses to the control box and mount the controller to the metal surface inside cab with attached magnets. Rotate storage legs into the operating position. and then lift and place the pad onto the material to be lifted, making sure it is positioned as close to the center as possible to keep the load balanced. Turn the lever so that the arrow points to lift to initiate vacuum. Once the gauge reaches 22, it is safe to lift the load. Do not lift loads higher than necessary. Always keep loads close to the ground when possible. Lower the load and make sure it is properly supported before releasing the vacuum. To release the vacuum from the load, turn the lever so that the arrow points to release. Once the vacuum gauge reads zero, the pad can be removed from the object it was lifting. To remove a pad, lift the CM3 to a comfortable working height. Disconnect the vacuum hose from the lifter and remove the pins connecting the pad to the beam. Carefully slide the pad off the beam. To change the pad beam, to allow you to convert from a single to double pad configuration, or vice versa, simply reposition legs to the storage position. and lower the CM3 to the ground. Remove the pins connecting the beam to the lifter. And carefully lift the CM3 away from the beam. Slide the beam out of the way and put the other one in its place. Slowly lower the CM3 onto the beam, making sure the connection holes are lined up. Or, with the CM3 positioned at a comfortable working height, lift the beam into place and reinsert the pins to connect the beam to the lifter. Finally, to connect a pad to the beam, slide the pad on with the vacuum gauge facing the host machine. Line up the holes on the pad to the center of the beam and insert pins to connect the pad. Then connect the vacuum hose from the pad to the CM3 and you are ready to lift.